Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. I'm excited to dive into this wine today. It's another sample. Uh, it was sent to me from a winery that you may be familiar with. This is the 2011 Anderson Valley Pinot Noir from Castello di Omarosa. This is the castle right here that they're making reference to. This is a, a winery inside of a castle that was built in the Napa Valley not that long ago. It was built by the uh, same family that runs V. Satui, another very popular winery uh, in the Napa Valley. And these are very much destination type of wineries. Uh, this castle right here was the destination of one of the uh, dates on The Bachelor uh, a couple seasons back. So if you remember them uh, eating uh, dinner in a castle in the Napa Valley, this was it. And I've been to this castle a couple of times and, and it's, it's uh, really cool looking. Their wines uh, over the years, the ones that I've had tried have been kind of hit or miss. I'm excited to look at this one, and I am pairing it with this this barbecue tri-tip sandwich that I am uh, super salivating over right now. So let's just get into this. Uh, Color-wise, you know, uh, as Pinot Noirs go, and this is 100% Pinot Noir, uh, it's going to be on the lighter side. I'm seeing my fingers right through this wine. Lighter side of a of a burgundy type of red, and, and I'm hoping you guys can see how translucent that is. Yeah, you can see that. As I stick my nose in here, I'm getting like, uh, you know, there are fruits of strawberries, right? But what's really hitting me right now is there is this kind of like a leathery uh, type of note. Strawberries, a little bit of cranberry, maybe a little cherry there, like a red cherry. And there it is. There's that uh, mushroomy thing that I do like on a, a lot of good Pinot Noirs. This is from the Anderson Valley, which is inside of Mendocino County. So uh, it's a relatively cooler climate. And so I'm hoping for some of these more subtle type of notes. I don't like those super just huge fruit bombs and Pinot Noirs. I like the more reserved kind of laid back style. Um, this did see, I want to say, about 10 months um, worth of French Burgundian uh, oak. A little spiciness coming off of there too, a little bit of black pepper, right? Let's taste it. Wow, and, and before anything else, I am getting those earthy type of notes, those mushroomy type of notes, that umami type of sensation, um, that uh, edamame soybean uh, type of play is definitely there. I am getting, again, those red fruits that I was noticing on the nose. Yeah, so I'm getting that, um, uh, a little bit of that strawberry, but a whole lot more of this, like, uh, dark, uh, cherry type of play. A little bit of cranberry as well. And again, it's one of these wines where I was talking about it before, um, there are kind of like these really appealing sour types of notes. Like, almost, you know, this isn't like over-the-top fruit, this isn't like, um a Jolly Rancher candy or anything like that, but there's almost like this candy type of play when you have those sour types of candies. If we could just take that fun, uh, sour type of note out of that candy, that's what I'm getting inside of this wine. So that's kind of fun, right? There is a nice acidity here. Yeah, but really more than anything else, I'm getting those um, leathery uh, and mushroomy type of notes. Moderate tannins. I mean, this is one that I think you could uh, hide away for, you know, a good five years. And I think you're still going to get a quality wine uh, out of it. It has that body. It has that structure um, to where it could last for a while in your cellar. 
And maybe it's because I had some barbecue right here. Um, but I almost feel like there's this uh, barbecue sauce type of play. I mean, I, I think that this is going to be a, a pretty good pairing. You know, um, before I get into the food, maybe I should give this a score. And I'm going to say that this is a, this is a solid... You know, as my buddy uh, Dave would say, and you probably saw this, you heard him say this in uh, episode 100, he said, I'd love to give this a 90, but I'm waiting for the 90 to come. And Dave, this is definitely one of those wines where it's like, it's really, really good, but it's not, uh, it's not... Uh, it's really, really good, right? Uh, I'm not going to throw it in that 90 range, though. I'm going to give this an 89, and I'm going to tell you that this is definitely a quality wine that you may want to try. I mean, these guys, uh, almost all their wines, they sell directly at the winery, so it's tough to get a hold of um, from out of state. You could give them a call, I suppose. Uh, but if you are at the winery, this is definitely one that I think you would want to try. I'm giving it an 89. I think a lot of people are going to love this wine. But, man, enough of that talk. i got to get into this food right now. So, again, oh, oh, just a really good, solid wine at 89 points. Uh, <clears throat> this right here is a uh, barbecued tri-tip uh, sandwich right here. They gave me some uh, spicy sauce. Maybe, you know, well, I'll get into that later. And of course, I got some potato salad to go along with it. But I mean, <laughs> just look at that meat. This is going to be good. Mm. So... This is from a, a place called Trail Dust right down the street from me, and I had to just swing by and, and uh, check their food out. They always make some quality barbecue, and their barbecue sandwiches are just insane. So I'm getting these great smoky notes from that tri-tip. I am getting this juiciness, this nice fattiness um, that's coating my mouth right now. now let's try it with the wine. And what's really fun is that, you know, there's that fattiness on the meat, right? And the acidity of the wine is just cutting right through that fat. And it's kind of making those flavors of the beef really pop. What I'm also noticing is that the uh, red fruits are becoming very prominent in the wine. So just think of more of that cherry, more of that strawberry, more of that cranberry, and um, it really is a nice marriage there, you know? Uh, also, those peppery notes on that wine are really starting to show up again with that food. Uh, another great wine pairing for me, wine and food pairing, uh, the wine itself, really nice. Again, a solid 89, and, and I encourage you guys to check them out. If you are uh, in the Napa Valley, swing by, check out that castle. It's beautiful, and they even make good wine there, too. Everybody, stay rad.